Okay, where the hell was I doing? What was I doing? Housing, okay. for me to also figure out the spaceship part I don't fully understand that
There we go. More population for there. We are entertainment. That's this one, right? Yeah. Searching right now. Super highways. Okay. Well, it's queued up after that. High speed rail. Good. Does everything I can. Okay. Concrete. What's that? Adamantian. Okay. Other spaceship doing? On most of these, I have the resources to repair. Most, not all.
There we go. Super highways, eh? That's these guys. Wish there was bi-directional superhighways, but that might be a little too overpowered. Fair enough. We're still okay. My ass will just get some more solar farms down. All displays a little more important because I can test the VR stuff. Because the next building upgrade. Park too, huh? Okay. I should solve that.
There we go. More habitat. I don't know why he keeps doing that. There's any collision, so why not, you know? Nice landing.
There we go. It's a little more breathing room in terms of population. the schools in there that's good still is way on the vr thing right now i think There you go.
There we go. least gets that expansion more viable. We can allow a loop back here. So we can use this to like stop up to another train if we need to. I think we'll want to do Have the rail come up to here-ish, I think. DBD, DBD. Oh, we finished that space station part, didn't we? Yeah, so that one's done. This should be easy. I make it look better too, which would be nice. morning there are certain things i expect from twitch am um yeah i have a bit of insomnia too um i know bits is a morning streamer so is james kind of um yeah so i'm up early well never went to sleep really so here i am how are you doing today um Probably helps me a bit or maybe hinders me, I don't know. Uh to how I put this. Uh today being a holiday for me helps in the exact in the sense that uh I don't have to be to work today at all, so I can sort of just Make it kind of easy in that sense. Yeah. Um, yeah, and how are you doing today? Do you have Juneteenth off? I know it's like a relatively newish holiday in a sense. So different businesses might be observing it differently.
Anti iridium ore. I need to be able to mine iridium. Where is iridium? Iron. Aluminium. This is iridium. Okay. Not semi opportune or convenient there. Uh, but yeah, good morning. Uh, hopefully, you're having a good day. Also, I'm having an energy drink, so that's probably mess with me a little bit more. <laughs> oh, right, yeah, because like some states aren't observing it because we're lucky like that, I guess. Um, my condolences, I suppose. It was funny, like, there was actually a semi-issue at work since we had options in our space that were computed to have expirations before Juneteenth was an official holiday, and then we had some that roll in after Juneteenth was official holiday. And so last year, like, the June expiration was kind of shifted around a bit with that and caused a lot of chaos in some of the training apps. Reason 2,486 by Florida sucks. Yeah, Florida is. Has some challenges to it. Being like the retiree state, it's sort of like. Behind on that aspect in terms of societal logical advanced. Um, like there was a new story. Uh the other day about how like Florida is the only state that doesn't have like the infant to like uh, young child COVID vaccines pre-ordered now that they're approved every other state had them pre-ordered just because like they thought it'd be approved and just want to be prepared for it but no Florida is like we're not going to dedicate state resources to that I'm sorry I tried not to get too political but that just struck me as weird I'm also trying not to be too loud because Sari is sleeping in the room next to me. Uh, I'm in the office. They're in the bedroom, so I want to let them get some decent sleep. No point in them suffering when I have insomnia. It's funny, I actually used to live in Florida for a couple years. That's where I went to college, down in near Orlando. Um, it wasn't bad. I like the temperate weather. Then, like the rain during the summer, though, that was kind of weird for me because I grew up in a very dry climate. So, going to a very humid one was kind of a shock to me. But, you know, acclimate, I suppose. At least I tried to. What are you complaining about? Just more concrete. Okay, whatever. Um, I'm gonna say. Uh, yeah, like uh, it was a bizarre culture shock for me, at least, um, to be somewhere where. There was like this reliable summer afternoon shower for 15 minutes that just came out in a huge downpour and then stopped. And then everything was normal again. Because everything had like a daily rinse. It's like, okay, that's as much water as like we got in a year where I grew up. So big big shock there. But oh 
what can you do? You know, it's like you move across the country to for college and your culture, not your culture, your climate's going to be different just by the nature of it, usually. Wild wingers are leading Florida back to the Dark Ages. Yeah, well, for better or for worse, they have this roasted to lenses of like the good old days back in the day. And to some degree, they have some legitimacy to the sense that, yeah, it was great for certain people, a very small set of people. But for a lot of other people, it wasn't so great. Um, and that understanding and that empathy is sort of lacking sometimes. And <sighs> sorry, like uh, don't don't mean to start the day off with anything too depressing. But hopefully things get better. Things are getting better. Um, Florida was relatively bluish in, in the, one of the last elections. Like they even um, on the ballot voted for a $15 minimum wage. So the state itself isn't that red. Um, just the current mechanisms of like choosing districts uh, makes it to where any political leadership has a lot of inertia and replacing that means you have to overcome that much and more inertia. Our wingers have weaponized fears, nostalgia, ign and ignorance to frightening effectiveness. That is true, and it's not uncommon uh, when you have a series of events that lead to uncertainty, um, instability, you know, some volatility in financial markets, labor markets, and commodity markets. Um, it's happened several dozen times throughout history and that the host nation goes into a rough period because of it. And I think we're entering that. I think we can do better, but I, uh, why not anytime soon? It's just like, like, like I was mentioning earlier with inertia, I just, uh, takes a lot of energy and the current mechanisms of our government design being, you know, uh, electoral college, the Senate, it resists change and it's intentional. It's supposed to have more of like a consistent behavior over time. And that's what the founders have designed. And they achieved that because they really didn't want that much democratic control. They wanted more you know landowning subset of people to have more control and that's where the design was and then you know we've been we being the nation over time has been improving that but it's a work in progress uh, these are going these are all done Stress just down a bit and build some of these if I can. Hell yeah. Um, that's a shame. Like I, I I honestly feel like at least my modus operandi is to maximize the happiness of the people in the worst off positions. Like everyone deserves to have like a decent life. And I don't know why some systems are made to make that harder, but they are. So all we can do is try and make things as good as possible in the ways we can and Minimize the damage other in other places and Yeah, just try to make the best of a shitty situation, I suppose is the long and short of it, but Yeah, again, I don't I tend not to get too political on stream because It's easy to get very depressed with it and I rather 
this be a refuge for just chill vibes. Um, but uh, hopefully you're having a good moment of peace before the workday really starts, and hopefully the workday goes uneventfully. Um, and you know you didn't really have a good day overall. That'd be good. Yeah. I think this is the last tier of upgrades. I never used to be political at all. Then right wingers began their full authority to descend to madness and hypocrisy while Dems, by and large, sold their souls to capitalism. Yeah. Not just like capitalism, it's more specifically like corruption of capitalism. It's like early 70s with uh, Citizens United, um, and other Supreme Court decisions. Capital, currency, cash became speech effectively, and instead of being for the people, by the people, of the people, it became for the owners, by the owners, of the owners. Uh, owners being the people with the most capital, because they had the most voice, and they essentially, at this point, at the top 0.01% of the populace, in terms of wealth, dictates policy for the past 50 so it odd, some odd years. So, uh, capitalism itself is like theoretically an okay system for distribution of some resources in some you know, markets. It's not the perfect system, it's, it's a tool for solving some problems. I don't know, I, I think humanity has this pattern where when we discover a tool or a solution to a problem. We try to make that the solution to all problems, and it just inherently don't work. You're like you don't use a screwdriver for a drill or a wrench. Like you have different problems, you use different tools for it. And trying to fit one where it doesn't belong just makes you, know, you strip your problems. Like you, you ruin things. That's a gross simplification, but generally. Using the right tool for the right problem makes the problem solution so much simpler, really, in my mind. What do I know? Damn, these new in game buildings are pretty. Yeah. Anywho, uh, what do you have plans for today uh, within your moment of peace or has the business day really started for you yet? Uh, hopefully, things stay calm. I understand why some streamers have like a strict no politics rule, but I don't. I just try to personally just avoid the subject generally because you know, everyone has their own opinions and, and whatnot. I don't want to offend anyone or put someone off because everyone has different locations on the socioeconomic spectrum and, and political theory. And I try to be welcoming, obviously, because again, yeah, you know. I want people to hang out and have a good time. Why the fuck do I have an email? Oh, okay.
Hmm. I take workshop. I'll stick a couple up here. I'm not even sure what these are for, per se. But let's find out together, shall we? Can we move you over somewhere? I'll have to do for now. Um, what is this? High tech tool. Okay. Let's bring the freeway down a smidge. And we'll just ah, put some road down this way. Trying to get shit done. New team leader started last week. He already He's already frustrated how incompetent most of the staff is. I spent chunks of my days now training him and trying to level set his expectations for staff. Setting expectations is one of the hardest things to do um, in a professional environment, and I, I sympathize on that. Wish you the best, of course. Um, And being a new guy, especially in like a leadership or managerial position, is always kind of tough because you have to try to acclimate to the current system and see where, then after where, you hopefully help things, make things smoother. Um, that's a challenge in itself, right? Um. Oh, I have a pill. I'll be right back in two shakes. I take my morning meds. Take your meds. Kirby. Pills here. Okay, I'm back. I have taken my pills. I appreciate his desire to get staff trained up better, but when they struggle badly with level 2 and 3 complexities, I don't see the path to getting them able to do level 5, 6, 7 stuff. Higher levels equals harder. Yeah, you kind of have to progress your mastery of skill sets depending on what field you work in, so... Trying to put the cart before the horse is generally going to lead to bad outcomes in that sense. Can't force feed competency or fast forward experience. Exactly. It just takes time. Like there's sometimes you can do shortcuts of like, you know, uh, intense training programs and whatnot, but to your point, yeah, you can't 
can't fast forward like years of experience or as a, you know, a innate skill set to some degree. Um, it just takes time. Build that up and you, yeah, like you said, you can't force feed it. People try. People always think they have a shortcut and will try and inevitably fail. And it's a crying shame too, because like, I think a lot of people go into it with the best of intentions. But, you know what they say about intentions, right? Saves the road to hell. <laughs> That's a little dark, but hopefully you get my gist. Uh, to your point earlier about like setting expectations doing that i feel is like one of the initial things you should do that way you're not disappointed with something doesn't happen when you have this false expectation you know back there or redeem over here some loopbacks we have some rail here I wouldn't mind one here and uh Having a good day. Yes. The answer to that question is yes. I'm both up early and late because I have intermittent insomnia. Which, you know, is a thing.
No, that feels, yeah. It's not great, but you know, it is what it is, so. One makes do with what one has. Ah. Doggo! It's a good doggo. Yeah, I want to have sort of like a chill, relaxing kind of game, so I thought I'd put up some uh, in for space because it's a fun game like that. Oh, I know game. Shut up. There we go. Uh, let's put a big old reservoir tank up here and get some pipe running. There we go, and this should be filling up. Yep. That's all good. Ah. Let's put another tank up here, because why not? That's already full. Cool, cool, cool. And, uh, let's get medium-sized train station, I suppose. This one, like, right there. And here, hyper neural. That there. Let's get some rail going. that up somehow that fixed really wish it didn't do that There we go. We just do a loopy loop there. around getting enough breath for things to work with there we go Uh, 
and snake this along relatively close to buy us enough space to worse work with. Relatively close. There we go. We loop this around so we have a return trip. And then we make a train line that goes from here, oh, from here, here, why, what is, what's wrong, do do do, going this way, ah yes, I need to complete this. Now it should be good, right? Yeah. There we go. Eight trains is probably a bit much, but I thought too many is probably better than too little for this. Now that will import the methane and help us with that. As clearly we need more methane over here. That's like one clusterfuck of a road, but fuck it. Uh, we can change this one to be omnidirectional. So that should help a bit, at least with that aspect. Um, you know, moving methane around faster is a good thing. Um, ah. These should be cruising along. And they should help overall with like you got to move that cow fart somehow indeed hand hitter um it's used for some manufacturing stuff um here's three research packs and it's also used for these advanced tools high-tech tools um which i think will help buff everything else that's why i'm trying to focus on that a little bit uh but i'm not sure Be like increase production by 30%. So, yeah, if we make more of them, that should help other things out generally. Generally, theoretically, I could run a huge like pipeline of methane, but I want to get the train sort of started up here too for you know. Aluminum, copper, sulfur, more methane, more iron. So if we can start building things out up here and add that to the city. 
Oh boy, the frames are struggling in that area. There's so much going on here. I did pack everything kind of tight, didn't I? Oh well. Just need some schools, huh? Oh, fine. no longer happy there we go fixed I, th I think that's a glitch and not intentionally designed uh, but I'm not sure I don't think you're supposed to, be able to run a cable Oh my goodness, load up upgrades. Um, through all those buildings like that, but I can. And it's kind of weird, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, what do you need? You need a park. Okay. Basic road going like there we go. Now you have a park some for some reason. Whatever. Um so yeah. It's funny, like there's actually like Speaking of cow farts, you do can get like organic waste from these meat labs, which are essentially like, you know, cow waste. And you can uh, use that to turn organic waste into methane. Uh, so it's not actually that far off. It's kind of funny. Neural processors are hurting, so our nanotubes. Shocking. And organic waste is hurting. Also shocking. These are all being. I just cut parts with extra steps. Yeah. It's funny, like. Cool oh, AI control unit. Um. Where I grew up was actually somewhat close to some farm, so I am very familiar with how cow farts smell. <laughs> Quite familiar. Why not have these? No, I don't have any industrial robots. I should get a few going. That should help with things in general. But AI control unit really just benefits from like aluminium. Oh boy. Let's pop three down there. What are those actually used for? AI control unit. Are those used for? No. I'm not sure what those are used for, to be honest. But we have them now.
Intersection DOM, it is DOM. There we go. I can go whatever direction you want. Silly AI. This needs those are all full. So I wonder what's going on there. Um the aluminium should be being exported, but it's not, so I'm not sure what's up there. Oh, the frames. Oh, the frames. Are trains actually moving, Matthew? I don't think they are. So I think we may have to go to uh, pipeline style, which we can. Okay, that's definitely doable. I was hoping not have to do that. Can trains move? I think I thought they could, but because like trucks can. If you look over here when we're processing organic waste into methane, uh, sometimes it'll come out as a truck. Sometimes, but it's mostly going through pipes. Is there a way to see what's on each train? Um. I think so in total of goods transport is zero so it's not transporting any methane currently uh, for whatever reason so we'll just do a long way pipeline and the train in place is not a bad thing we'll definitely make use of it for other things it's not this I just have to use a lot of steel to get this. That's fine. There we go. So now we're just running a huge pipeline and that solves like all the methane needs. So we're good on that now. Probably use more steel building this train tech. Maybe let's find out. Um, it's, that's 25 a piece. That's 10 a piece. So yeah, you're right. Um, the train track was more steel too. I should have done the pipeline from the beginning. You're right. Good call. Um, oh well. You live and you learn. Um, in any case, like this train, like we're, we're still going to expand up there for other things too. So it's not like it's a waste. It's just a waste now. Oh, I am thinking more so expanding over here for the uranium. But I'm not sure because I probably will do is this rail to come up. And yeah, I am pretty certain that uh, rail can handle uranium. Let's just get some, some big chunk this is going. I 
That's good. And we'll just keep it super, super simple and just add a rail station here. Power substation right there and a couple of, oh, big shocker there. We need more power. All right, so now that's mining. That's good. Uh, we need to connect the rails up. That working. I'll loop that over. And figure out how we want to get this out of here. This, yeah, that's the exit. There we go. Uh, the lag. I'll fix the intersectional part there in a minute. I just want to get that part done. Okay, that part's done. That part's done. Okay. So now we have that set up. We just have to go to here. Set up a new rail line. And add this station and this station. Add like four trains on it. That should be good. Now we have uranium being imported in. Preemptive infrastructure indeed. Uh, it's good to prepare. Very good to prepare. Uh, I think uh, I was watching a documentary a while back how uh, London's sewer system, uh, since it was being revamped like a few hundred years ago, was built to have handle like three or four times the population of London at the time, just to be ahead of the time, you know, just you know, prepare for it. And that's why it's been, you know, in per still being used today is pretty much as is hundreds of years later. <clears throat> this is from that little bit of forethought, which I thought was really cool. No one even lives in London anymore? I'm sure there's some people that still live there. No one just lives outside and commutes in on the M25? Yeah, I don't know. Like, New York's similar, right? Like, where there's like a lot of people commute into New York City proper. Um, but there's definitely like residential sections in Manhattan and whatnot. Um, so I'm, I get your point though. Uh, let's see. So that should help our uranium. We probably can uh, actually up. Excuse me. Hello, Gordon. Hey, girls. How doing? Unfortunately, the Hello, Hello Gordon only triggers when you actually have a normal chat message. Hello, uh, there you go. Ah. Uh, so how you doing, Karos? Didn't do the point. Shit. Yeah. Well, it's not a French TTS. Uh, I don't have a French TTS. I'm not French at all. 
not my thing. Uh, TTS by itself will pick a random voice between Hazel, Zira, David, and Helena. Um, Hazel is UK feminine. Um, Zira and David are US, and Helena, I think, is Latina. Um, a bit tired, but I'm chilling. I hope you're chilling. You've been suffering through a lot of heat the past few days. Started playing Sims 4 again because of Mari. Are you gonna use the um well that that mod she was using for like more horny scenarios? <laughs> ah, fart. Thanks for the fart girls. Um I'm no, I'm in for it. It's damp and hot. Ooh, that's that's rough. What are the uh poly cause all the neural networks are going over elsewhere. Namely up here. Okay. I can do a core crunch. Is it really guys um let me turn off the youtube recording i'll do it th the other way later it's so annoying when that happens i hope stream elements is a uh, plug and gets Okay, I should be back again. Apologies. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Hello, Gordon. Yeah, I cannot use the chat box apparently in my OBS. Hello, Gordon. So I'll just use it over here. I'm gonna, I, all I wanted to do was uh, do this. Oh, uh, no, not that. Weather. It's your favorite city, isn't it? <laughs> Am 
I'm actually going to check the OBS crash logs and make sure it is what I think it is. But for some reason, Stream Elements plugin is buggy. <coughs> nit nit. Thanks for the nit nit. percent here which is the lowest it's been in months oh, that's nice it's been a bit humid where i'm at um luckily i have a dehumidifier run through my kitchen that's just enough to cover my my uh, apartment Batch reports Thank you. Damon, do a crash report. Yeah, I know. I should be back again. Apologies. I don't know why LBS is being extra finicky today. Maybe after stream I'll reboot and Hello, that should... Yeah, I I'm sorry. I really am. It Hello, hasn't been Gordon? this I'm not sure what's up with OBS today. I'll have to troubleshoot it later. Um, I was gonna do something and I can only remember what. Oh yes, I was gonna up this production. Over here. Ah. Embarrassing. Oh well. Ah. I just wanted to look at the crash report and see why OBS was sad, and that made it sad. Because of course it does. Exactly. Like, if I interact with anything on my OBS, it's like 80% chance gonna crash. Just dumb. Super dumb. Yeah, I... Like, I, I recently updated my drivers, uh, my graphics drivers recently, and I think it wasn't the best update from NVIDIA. I was gonna say that. Um... I don't have... My controller's not plugged in. I don't usually game with my controller, actually. I know you're half memeing, but honestly, it's not even controller related. That I can deal with. Not memeing, uh, 
yeah, uh, I don't usually have my controller plugged in for this exact reason, actually, because you never know when something gets stupid around it. I'm pretty sure I just need to uh, look at the forums for the latest NVIDIA driver and roll back a version or two. What the hell do you know me? Yes. I am familiar with you. Uh, thank you for the fart. Carbon processor. And we need some water extractors. And a water tank over Most here. Most tough men eat nails for breakfast. Chuck Norris does all of his grocery shopping at Home Depot. I like that. That's a funny that's a funny one. Carbon is being handled. This will get water and sand. So these all should be running full tilt. Well, you know, think that's funny, Anator? I thought it was funny. I love that emo fail fish. It's a classic. There we go. Got water? Okay, one more. There we go. Now it's just transporting goods. Cool, cool, cool. Almost done fixing the hull. Cool. Now we're hurting on blue chips, using more than we are making and aluminium. Okay. Uh, we'll deal with the blue chips first. That's over here ish. Uh, where can I stick more blue chip processing? I thought that would happen. Uh, 
I'm an idiot. There we go. It should help a little bit, but I think I need a bit more than that. Can't do anything here. I wonder if I can do something here, though. Not really. It's mm. more in there. I'm not going to solve the problem, but it should help alleviate some of it. There we go. There, that should help. As long as I don't touch OBS, it seems to be happy. Yeah, all these downgraded because I ran out of home robots, which are these guys, which have been running out of newer processors. So I drained them all going into the here. That was my lack of foresight. But hopefully this cluster up here should help things. Yeah, so I think what we can do is help over here drag this down a bit more and up over here and just do a bunch more of neural plants they're rather slow so you just need a lot of them really There we go. Now nah, that should really ramp up that production a bit. Let's let that reach some equilibrium for a bit and see how that goes. That's all filing in. Roads are cruising. help things a little bit
Yes, yeah, now some of these are still are up and running again. That'll help. I don't know if it's enough, it'll help. Ah. Are you blasting off? No, you're landing. Okay. Almost done. Three quarters done. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. This one probably could use a few more trains. Red science packs, cool. help uh, back to high-speed rail so upgrading those should be good and those are being made over here supposedly I need to use the restroom be right back Looks like some of the habitats are upgrading, which is good. We need more aluminium up here. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. 
There's a decent amount of aluminium here. Easiest thing is to tap over here. Well, there's a road right there for you. There we go. up to the main grid and we're good that should help the aluminium production I think at least for now Actually, that could probably be freeway, couldn't it? Yeah. Here. That needs more carbon now, eh? Well, that I can handle. think more carbon production CGHU for a while What is that? Iridium ore? Okay. Well. These are all full. Something's not going. Oh. Oh. That's the problem.
There we go. Okay. Hopefully if that jam doesn't happen here, but if it does, I can rectify it. Okay, rectify. So Karis, if you're still there, when is your AC supposed to arrive? I don't know if you said so earlier or not. Should hopefully be soon. the 24th and the 28th so it is coming up soon that's good i'm sure you're thinking not soon enough but can't imagine well i can't imagine i've lived in situations without ac and it's it's no bueno that's for sure heck speed rail I think my fan is blowing fresh air right now and not the fiery air that is blowing the day I posted on my discord oh yeah because it was super hot outside and I was blowing that in right ah uh. Four apartments ago, I was uh, in the middle of a big city with no AC, so I feel your pain. It wasn't too hot, but God, I got a human because it was at it was at sea level, um, and it was like twenty miles away from uh, the ocean, technically, well, the river, but the river dumped out into the ocean. Not cool down from the big heat the other day, even though it rained almost all day. Oh, that must be brutal. Uh, yeah, this day and age, like AC is like kind of a must now, unfortunately. days when like like Europe could have got by like some of it at least without AC but not anymore global warming all that bullshit fucking hell to fall asleep with a fucking wet towel on your pillow yeah when i was in that apartment without the ac basically i took showers just to keep cool because the water was part of rent so i didn't have to pay for any additional gallons um so i just take cold showers all the time just to cool off
lost a shit ton of laundry though because I was always sweating through my clothes. Wet towel is a good solution. Um, something you might be able to get quicker than your AC if you're really burned is a swamp cooler. I don't know if anyone suggested that yet, um, but it's basically the same principle as like having the ice in front of the fan. Um, so if you guys condensation based cooling, it's not, it's no AC, but it does help. water and bacteria in the water so there's no water available for two days the city's a mess oh my goodness that i can't imagine like having contaminated water in your water main like that just has to suck my condolences of course Do you know if like the temperature is supposed to get like at least a little bit more reasonable now or is it just like blistering hot for the foreseeable future? I mean, like yesterday I have five power, I'll just back to back, Jesus. First of all, for more than an hour, damn. It's funny, Sarah and I had like a power outage like a month ago or so, that was for a whole day. This is my unit too. I'd leave your flat and sit in your staircase because it was cooler. Yeah, I imagine because uh, it's probably not too much ambient heat gets there. Damn, this guy suck. We're cooling down now, thank goodness. Yeah, that's good. I'm, I'm glad. Now you just have to deal with the humidity, which arguably might be feeling worse, but that's subjective. speed rail should help things a bit too trains don't turn that sharply I love it so dumb That should help things a bit. Yeah, things are getting better. Look at all these upgrades that have already happened. You still just need home robots, which need more of these guys, yeah. To be better for the next few days, so did you get the weather to stay still until my AC gets here? Do you have like, um, I guess you get like a window unit or something like that? After all that, well, I don't give a fuck about electricity spills. I can't bear the heat. Yeah, well, at some point, you just gotta take care of your overall health, and heat stroke is no laughing matter for sure. Or heat exhaustion, too. Uh, it was funny, we were actually just talking about that the other stream. Um, how you should uh, be careful around the heat. Cause it, it's, it's it's no laughing matter for sure.
I'm on some heavy medication for my mental health. I'm prone to heat strokes. Oh yeah, I bet. Some of the the meds out there for anxiety and depression are pretty rough on that. I went two years ago while driving. I had to go to the emergency because I was dehydrated severely. Oh yeah, uh, and you have to like get like IV fluids to rehydrate. It's the worst. Done that. Sand should be fine. The green circuits may take a minute to get up here, though. Oh, Kara, so has this been like the hottest summer you've been in, or is like this typical and just, or somewhat typical? And like this was like a a minor abnormality, or is it like this really above and beyond your normal normal like temperature range? Obviously, you don't have to get you know too much detail of where you are and all that, because doxing and all that kind of stuff. You know, waiting for the emergency room to arrive. I'm going to not fall conscious on a stopping point on the highway. I recommend sheesh. Yeah. I, I fully understand Karos because like uh, a city ago, I got sick with a stomach bug. Um, a few years ago was worse temps, but less hot, but on a longer period. Yeah, I'm sure that's rough in its own right. Uh, to uh, a city ago I was living in, I got sick with a stomach bug to the point where I could not even keep water down for like two days. So I eventually I had to go to the emergency room just to get IV fluids because I was being so dehydrated. So I feel ya. Um, I think between 34 and 36 for almost two weeks, geez. Uh, what's, uh, what is that in um, my units so I know? Yeah, that's pretty toasty. 95 degrees Fahrenheit. Especially if you have like humidity along with it, that makes it even more brutal. I went to the emergency room and got taken care of. Okay, where's the funny part? <laughs> Sounds like a good thing to me. First thing, first, they test me for drugs, which of course I have my system because I'm on any presence. Yeah, some drugs will, or some meds will do that. Then give me water until 20 minutes later. Fucking water? Why prohibit water? That's so dumb. I was very, I'm sure you're very dehydrated. Why the fuck would medical staff prevent water? It's so dumb. Reason it could affect the test. 
So let someone be more dehydrated is the healthier option? The fuck, man? I'm with you on that, man. It's that's bullshit. Raid a deep fried of bullshit. Yeah, not just on a regular timer for like every hour and a half, two hours, just a mainly a reminder for me to be, uh, you know, good about staying hydrated myself. shouldn't be that affected by it too that's super dumb regardless like no matter what kind of test, you shouldn't. That shouldn't have happened. can't remember is when I was closing my eyes the nurse was screaming at me not to fall asleep well yeah that makes sense Three. granted they probably could have been more polite about it you want to let me rest? Damn it, yeah. For sure. I was surprised they didn't give you like um, Gatorade or some sort of like electrolyte supplement too. It's like, I'm sure you're pretty bad off at that point. May or may not already have a truck since it's because they some energy drink you had before taking the car. Okay, that's not too bad then. Well, still a rough situation overall, but that helps at least.
putting the energy drink like I don't know how many electrolytes it would have been given you mostly it's just beta vitamin and sugar and caffeine usually yeah um well caffeine depending on how it's imbibed can be a diuretic so I actually may have made the situation a little bit worse because it may Helped your body think it need to pee more. Mercy, I took my I put the car. There's not have an AC too. Yay! It was 44 degrees in my car, even with the windows open. 44 degrees. That sounds like a lot. Jesus. Yeah, that's that's a lot, bud. Stay there for an hour and a half, approximately. Eleven. Yeah, before that experience, me and Hot Brother didn't go well. I can imagine. Jesus Christ. Since then, it's I fucking dread Hot Brother. Yeah. For sure, man. I not put pipes down, I did not. Cannot imagine how that must have felt too. Sure, I wasn't comfortable. Ah. trauma box for sure yeah I'd, I'd say that's definitely a trauma for sure no doubt about that I need to take a car to like go get the groceries or do something that I absolutely need to. I need my anxiety meds or I can't get out of my flat. Yeah, I feel that. It sucks living with debilitating anxiety. It's like everyday things that normal people take for granted are like. Uh, a real chore. If I get my anxiety, guess what? I'm all sweating because my temperature goes up and it gives me more anxiety. Yeah, it becomes like this perpetuating vicious cycle where your symptoms perpetuate worse symptoms. 
you get to like panic attacks and stuff like that. It's fucking terrible. Um, so I, I get that. It's, it's definitely rough, like, no one should have to go through that kind of bullshit, uh... Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, not bullshit, but like, it's... How would I put this? It's like... It's a very rough struggle that no one should have to go through. It's just... More the most like normal like grocery shopping or uh, going to see like your primary care physician or whatever you call it um, is like such as like this dread inducing event and to cope around that is such a expensive like endeavor. I'm glad at least you have like your anxiety meds that helps you get around, but having the weather being like this oppressive force on top of that has to be super uh, difficult to deal with sometimes. I was feeling weird and not normal for doing all of that because you know family can suck on the aspect of friends, at least in my case at least. Yeah. I feel like a lot of the family dynamics prior to our, prior to our generation weren't super cognitive and like mental health challenges and weren't really equipped to cope with it. Because they're ooh, level six. Uh, their upbringing whether it wasn't prepared for either so they didn't grow from that um, a great help and a good doctor that follows me every month and got my issue recognized as a handicap I can live with it now that helps yeah having you know recognition and you know a support system a little bit um, Still rough, obviously, but I'm glad you at least have some support there. Oh fuck! What can I do with my life with that shit going on? No, now I can live with it. The way off up the shoulders, cheese. I felt good. I'm sure. Cause I'm sure, like just the prospect of like trying to force yourself into like anxiety inducing situations to find like a you know uh, you know earn a living so to speak must be uh daunting you know and I, the meds helping a, a lot i'm sure is so much like when i found my medication helping out it was game changer um, does it solve my problem? No, but it takes the worst of the symptoms off of my brain. I'll tell you, the first time I took sleeping pills and had a real night of sleep, the difference I felt between all that, wow. Yeah, like, that's something I need to get worked on, because like, my sleep disorder isn't easily solved with medication. I, I cope with it sometimes. I take some over-the-counter sleeping pills to recoup some time. But yeah, like getting the right treatment, um, or at least a treatment sometimes, even if it's not the perfect treatment, changes your world. Uh,
And it's funny too, like when I was a kid, I actually tried out different medications and they weren't the right thing for me and really didn't benefit me in that regard. Oh uh, yeah, same thing, Garros, 100%. Like, so I have like sleep apnea, so I totally get it. Like, uh, the severity has gone down since I've had treatments, but it's still there. And like, so there's plenty of nights where I go to sleep and I wake up more tired. I like if I just stayed up, I would be better off because at least that way my, I'd be doing something, be productive at that time and not be wasting it, being unconscious, but not recovering. Now my meds, I can sleep for roughly eight hours, woke up and can wake easily be 30 plus hours a day. Ah, that sounds so nice. I'm happy for you, man. Uh, getting the right treatment changes things so much for the better. You know, I was waking up and more woke up, stayed awake for like eight hours max, go back to sleep for 13 hours, rinse and repeat, and you just never feel like energized. You just got by. It's rough. Yeah, so there's years of my life I completely forgot. Yeah. Also, like a good chunk of my 20s are it's non existent. Trying to make the best of my 30s at least. Oh yeah. I can imagine. Well I know if like in the last city I was in, I was there for a year. Can't recall nearly none of it. Because uh, my depression, my anxiety were so heightened that I just turned off my brain for a year solid and I just, it was horrible. Got through it, but I don't feel any better for it. Now I'm in a much better city and a better situation in my life. Also because most of my traumas in she lifetime is in a locked box in my head with a key thrown into the deep well, but also because of my sleeping issues. Yeah. Well, I am super happy that you're in a better spot now. And we've met and got to hang out, so to speak. Because it's been great. And Oh, I'm hoping that most of the trauma is behind you and better days are forward, you know, better days are ahead of you. That's all we can ask for sometimes. How's this doing up here? Okay, so we solved the blue chips now, it just needs more carbon nanotubes. Okay. To my friends, best thing ever to be honest, even better than actual friends sometimes. It's nice because it's so asynchronous, where you know you just 
go live and if people want to come up and hang out cool if they're busy with work they can lurk or if they just want to pop in discord and say hi like i love the again the same asynchronous video to where you don't have to call someone and expect a real-time response like it's more passive and less stressful in my opinion um it definitely works for me much better like all of you know me because of streaming for the community or intertwined in and more understanding of my situation than my friends or family yeah sure um I don't know about you, but like for me, like I just get so stressed out when someone has a phone call or has to walk up when I'm in the office and like expects an immediate like interaction when I can't put my thoughts together in time and like give like an appropriate response. Asynchronous way is the way for me. struggling with water now okay I squeeze in a water me here no okay squeeze it up up here uh really okay let's put some up here then But yeah, that's just my brain just works better in asynchronous mode. I just like there's uh, whenever there's like an inquiry or an interaction that's needed, like I work better, uh, you know, take time, format a thought, give like references and like links and white papers give it a proper explanation if someone's asking me about like you know how to do xyz um being able to like put all my thoughts together in one form is so much better for me personally so i try to do things on the fly and improv and just trying to figure things out as i go i usually like mess up words or uh, just don't form my thoughts properly and it just comes out all, you know, uh, garbled. So, but it's, yeah, streamer friends, or this the streaming community in general is like much better about that kind of mindset, which I, I'm super appreciative of. Still need to, still need to bother you to improve my mix it up now. <laughs> Honestly, like I haven't worked too much with Mix It Up. I've been mostly working with Streamer Bot. Um, Mix It Up doesn't have like as easy of an extension point as Streamer Bot for me. Hello, Gordon. Hey, Liquid. How you doing? Good morning. doing it's too damn hot already is it hot up where you are too damn i thought of all places you'd be better off in this heat but i guess it's probably pretty humid where you're at too right 80 degrees jesus it's like what's well, 8 40 your time that's hot for so early and humid yeah i, I yeah, streamer bot. Um, it's pretty nice, Karos. Like, well, let me put it this way. Um, it's very powerful, but it's not very user friendly. So it takes some ramping up time. But once you get comfortable with it, there's uh, actions you can do where you step down into like actual C sharp code. You can do pretty much put your mind and 
you know, what, what you can possibly imagine with it. And, uh, yeah, like that's, that's what I wanted. Like that, that I'm, that's what I work in my, uh, my day job. So like, it was very comfortable for me to move into, but I can understand that's not for everyone. Firebot and, uh, mix it up are definitely very good solutions for other people. It was, Superbot was a good fit for me. Um, one thing I need to look into, they added in 0 0.19, um, better integration with like, uh, heartbeat sensors. So what I want to do is try and find one that fits with the one, the APIs they support now and actually get my heart rate on stream. Like some other streamers do for like horror games. So I just want in, I want the ability in general, depending on what game I'm playing. Um, so I thought it'd be a nice bit of interaction. Um, but long-term goals and all that. Yeah, so I use streamer bot and I also use like stream elements as built in bot because that does a lot of things really well. Um, and it's free and cloud hosted. Like, uh, I like using st like stream elements for things that are super simple because that way I don't have to think about like if my bot's running, it is always working. Like if simple commands or simple timers, um, I throw into stream elements, but everything that's more complicated, I put into streamer bot. Um, like all the fun interaction with uh, point redeems so I do through streamer bot. Uh, a lot of like some of the bit uh, reactions of streamer bot, some of through stream elements, depending. Uh, try to make it use the right tool for the right, you know, job. How do you like uh, Firebot though? Liquid, I've heard good things from Athelion. Uh, that's a pretty good tool. I just haven't worked with it either. I, I, I skim through, mix it up, Firebot, um and a couple others and end up on streamer bot because that's fit in my needs the best you love it cool uh what kind of like what was like sort of like uh sold you on like what was like the most compelling feature of it or was this like the ease of use or what The built-in shout out feature that does the pop-up like you have yeah like mine is a hybrid of um pixel chat for the ui and stream, stream elements doing the actual text part of it um and the shout out with just one s also includes on top of that uh clippy which does like the clip playback which is pretty handy too so if i want to do that i could do, do uh so the text is that's uh, stream elements, Most pixel chat at the top top, and then clippy for the actual video. Using Streamlabs chat up before Ankbot, I think what it's called. Firebot's really easy to pick up after that. I'm sure it's pretty comparable. Then you suddenly turned around and I've <laughs> Why did I do this one? I used both my hands to flip them off. Why both? Watch out! <laughs> okay. I love Clippy. It's really cool. Um. But it's kind of cool, like, if someone posts, like, uh, if it's, like, a, you know, regular or sub or a VIP or whatever, they post, like, a, a clip link in chat. Um, I have stream elements looking for certain patterns of text where it automatically respond to that and do explanation play on it, or explanation watch. Hello, and actually Gordon. play it automatically. Hey, GDR. How goes it? How you doing? Pretty good. They just don't update anymore. Yeah. Part of the Clippy Insider program. Ooh, I just got um, I I got part of their affiliate program just recently. So if anyone wants Pro, they can use my code, 
um, explanation Clippy, I think, uh, and get uh, the first month free or something like that. So you get updates about their development. Yeah, I watch their Discord and I, I try to keep an eye on things. It's really cool. I like what they're doing with it. I, uh, I hope they keep growing it and, and making it more powerful. It's, it's a really good idea. I think the implementation is great so far. Um, How's your morning going, uh, JDR? Are you enjoying um, observed Juneteenth or are you just having a regular work day? The future is going to be better. I hope so. Like it's already going off to a great start. And I think it only has you know, upward momentum right now. So I'm, I'm excited. Um, I have so many overlays. I need to clean that up a bit, but oh well. Speaking of overlays, I think my chat one's acting up. Yeah, see if I can fix that without crashing OBS. Just a regular day? Okay. Okay. Uh, chat overlay should be fixed now. Yep, it's looking good now. Cool. It might have been working before. I just didn't notice it, but it's definitely working now. Uh, it's unfortunate you don't have the holiday, but hopefully it's a relatively mild fun day for you. I hope so. Uh, not too busy. Low key. They're talking about YouTube and Instagram integration. YouTube is interesting. I don't have an Instagram, so it doesn't really do much for me, but I'm for other people, I hope it works out for them. That still needs a bunch more sand, right? Yeah. Um, so for like the Instagram thing, is that like planned to be like, just like, uh, slideshows and like rotating like UI of like current pictures on their like Instagram or maybe like uh, Instagram story, like videos or what, have they disclosed that yet? Sort of just mostly just curious. You can share more than that. That's fine. I'm sure I'll find out in due time. It's definitely cool they're working on stuff like that, expanding the horizons, or giving more accessibility and all that. Um, I meant to ask earlier, Liquid, do you have today off or are you still also working or what have you? But no, like it's kind of weird with the new holiday, like some states and some businesses have today off and some don't. It's kind of weird and I'm sort of curious what the distribution is amongst the community, kind of. Which is my job these days. Ooh, you're full-time streaming? Oh, I didn't know that. That's neat. Well, that's exciting and interesting. I guess there really is no quote unquote holiday schedule necessarily with uh, full time Twitch streaming because you just kind of have to pick your schedule and 
work with that, you know, no matter what holidays or what and what land and all that kind of thing. That, that must be a trip. A reflection of being tired of having to deal with commission based work because people suck. Yeah, people do suck. We were just talking about that earlier. Um, in a different context, I guess. Was Twitch being a better, being better money or anything? Yeah, sometimes like the mental health aspect of it is kind of valuable. It's hard to put a number to that. I'm sure like like I'm, I'm obviously not full-time streaming I'm mostly doing this as a hobby and having fun but even like I get like weirdos sometimes in chat like there was one two nights ago or last night two nights ago that just popped on the chat and the first thing are like they were talking about was like just making like inappropriate advances and it's kind of weird to think about that as like workplace sexual harassment in a way <laughs> this is a weird sort of like mindset to have yeah it's i'm i'm new to it through twitch per se um so it's definitely a new experience for me and uh, obviously we you know we both i was co streaming with siri at the time so we both banned them um respectively it's just weird weird man I was not expecting it, and I, at the time, was not prepared for it. And I, just, I don't understand the mentality of someone just like first thing coming into stream and just like, uh, doing that kind of thing. People won't pay for what they agreed to pay for. On the other hand, yeah, I can. Well, I've done contract work, so I know how you feel. I was like, she tried to me the fuck. I, I know, Kara. I was like. Yeah, it's like you're bilingual and it's interesting to see when you, you know, embrace like some of the French language you, you know, um, makes for fun memes and whatnot. But like coming and demanding it is just a weird take in my opinion. Like whatever happens, like joining a stream, hanging out, trying to have a good time and just being like a chill person. I don't know. Maybe I'm oversimplifying, but that's. That's where my head's at usually because like why make things like complicated and difficult and uncomfortable for people fuck I jumped. so funny enough uh i think i have it um it may still be active but i think there's um a bot response for that Yeah, so if someone comes in and tries to ask that, uh, the bot would actually talk to them saying, uh, please don't. <laughs> um, it's like a simple regex pattern. Um, I should probably enhance it to have that phrase too. So that's a to do for me. But it's like, yeah, like, we were like we were playing um, Left 4 Dead 2 a while back, and some person was like hopped in on Sari's chat. It's like, uh, do you have room for another one? We're like, no, it's a private lobby. And like, here's my stream, my Steam friends code. No, we're not, we're not, uh, we're not having a community night. So sorry. It's like, there really came someone system which just banned them because like they just wouldn't take the hint and weren't like respecting the what we were saying. 
And I feel bad too, yeah, because they, they wouldn't want to join in and have the fun, but like... You don't want to... I feel like it's impolite to do that as your first connection with a streamer, or from a viewer to a streamer, streamer to a viewer, whatever. Uh, like if a streamer wants to play with people in a community night, like I said, I said a situation, or just in general, I feel like most of them want to have some, some basic rapport with the other side to where they just, like, recognize the username to some degree. Um, and yeah, just like have the assumption that like it's a wide open thing like that is I don't get it. Ooh, that's nasty. Let's fix that. There we go. Pushing boundaries is a big no no. Exactly. It's a boundary. I'm sure, those other streamers are okay with it. I, I don't know. Like, I, I guess there has to be some. No means no, if you keep asking, you get slapped. Exactly. And if you really want to rejoin the community, there's always ban appeals. Like, I, bans aren't necessarily permanent, permanent. Um, but... It just has to be, like, some line and, and, and enforcement where you just can't push, you know, lines indefinitely like that. Oh, that's just how my, that's my take on it, at least. I can see some streamers who have one or two viewers be more for that. Probably. Maybe. I don't know. That's hard for me to imagine, at least. Like, for me, like... If I want to open up to, like, just anyone who wants to join and, and play with me, I'll put in the title Community Night and, like, explanation join or something like that for chat response or like how to do that, like how to join the viewer queue and whatnot. Um, because I think StreamOne just added that recently. Something like that. I don't know. Like make it explicit, but the default shouldn't be that assumption, I guess, is my point. Um I don't know. But I only hang out on a subset of streams, so I my exposure bias is probably speaking to, to, to some degree too. Um Yeah, I don't know. I'll have to think on that a bit more. There there has to be some cohort out there that are, as you speak, like more open to it to make that kind of assumption pervasive. Maybe it's like maybe it's something else that I don't know yet. I have to think on it. Because there has to be a reason why there's a non-trivial amount of people assuming that off the bat. And, I, and that I want to know. With up to viewers engagement there's a bear somewhere like you said yeah like of course like like especially join or a code of this sort yeah like i like how jojo does it where she has a dedicated community night and if you want to join you have to be on the discord um and look for codes there so people can't like stream uh, stream snipe the code precisely carol so you like you got to think about the, the community the streamer the viewers as a whole, as a collective first. Cardic phone or um, Jackbox games, like you get the wrong person there, you can get some really nasty shit and like, who wants that in their lives? Really? I don't, I'm too old.
Every time I saw some new people come into the Guardic Phone game and our mutual streamer friends, they had to change scene, ban the person to join and start over every fucking time. Yeah. Again, that's why I like how Jojo does it through the Discord, so she has a little more control, a little more, I guess, resistance to where it, it won't be some rando joining from stream sniping. It's more curated, I guess would be the word. Um, so if someone wants to like troll, that's more steps they have to go through to do that. And like some jerk off 13 year old's not going to do that, or at least less likely to do that. Yeah, I, I'm, I don't know the exact steps entirely how Jojo does it. I know that's part of it, but again, having like a few barriers or like tasks to do, they're not hard. Like anyone in the community has probably already done them in, inadvertently, um, like followed and then joined and whatnot, uh, the Discord. But it makes it to where someone who's like just scrolling through the category to troll it disincentives that, you know? Oh yeah, like mods are the unsung heroes of Twitch. Exactly, like you need a mod for help like carry the game, especially in Faz, for example. And you need a mod, you know, especially a stream that size, just to keep an eye on chat because you never know when things can go out of hand and the streamer might be busy with the game or interacting with others, you know, chatters. She has issues with telling people to not do that or stop being an ass and stuff like that. Yeah, I, Jojo is a very nice person and that can sometimes be a hindrance in those situations. And then, well, if mods are in the game, we'll be ruthless against trolls. Exactly, and I've seen it. Like. There was like one person in JoJo's last stream that was like, follow me, er, follow me everyone. It's like, what? What planet is that ever successful in? Like, what? I, I don't fathom that. Like I, I don't understand people that go into other streamers chat and say follow me like maybe a kid but even still I don't know my brain just doesn't work like that I don't get it beyond me I try but it's beyond me Well, I don't know, Karos. There is plenty of adults without common sense, so I, I wouldn't delineate necessarily on age. I just think I, I just have struggled with finding anyone having that little common sense. Funny ones with a non-English talker in chat. Yeah. And that's why we have like English commands to say like, "Hey," stuff like that, and like. This I borrowed from, borrowed from Jojo because it's just so perfect. She dropped a come the fuck down in French just after banning someone who doesn't want to speak English. <laughs> I'm sure that one was funny in the moment. Oh man, I'll play the clip of that. But just again, like. I can't imagine, like, people being that brazen. I don't know. This is weird. Luckily, it's not the norm. It's, like, the exception. She screamed and spammed my DMs when she had a troll insulting her in French. Yeah, I can imagine.
I know what that person said and I could ban them immediately. So one thing I want to do in my bot, I've seen a few other people do this, um, is that like a function for translating from one language to another through like Google Translate or something. Um, where I don't have to like alt tab to and make a new tab just for translating that. She was so proud of showing me. I'm sure like, so you've been teaching your French a little bit here and there, right? Some phrases and whatnot. And she seems like she's picking up really well. And I'm not surprised she's very smart. Oh yeah, uh, obviously it's not like a formal academic situation, but like you're obviously have been telling her like phrases and like word roots and, and, and some grammar and whatnot, um, which is great. Anything anyone does to do things like that for themselves is great, hands down. Up here, I think. Yeah, that's missing a medium alloy. What is a, what are you guys missing up here? Oh, you're cruising. You're idle. Turns on pronunciation very hard. Yeah, I can imagine. Because French has very specific rules and how things should be pronounced and I know I would fail at that. Now she knows every dumb sentence I've teach her by heart will now talk about the fact that we only have he or she for things. Yeah, I fucking hate that. I, my brain doesn't work with uh, gender languages like that. Like I, I, I was conversationally okay in Spanish for a time and I just, my brain doesn't work with it. It's a flaw on my end, of course, but I just can't. I'm sure it's probably plenty frustrating on your end too, having to deal with that, um, you know, in your uh, in your day-to-day -day life. for me until I've met transgender people and knowing more about their struggle for identity recognition, for example. Oh, yeah. I'm sure that makes things very difficult in terms of, like, finding their way in that and whatnot. I can only imagine. English does help with that a lot. English... Since it's like, since it's, since it's like um, a mismatch of languages, probably it's both the best and worst of a lot of things, so it's kind of just like a, a free-for-all.
you want to refer by if or someone or something you just can't or it doesn't make sense yeah that sucks but what are you gonna do right I'm a top person moving for a transmitter people in France, to be honest. Yeah. Because there's like, there's not the language really yet for describing their like particular like identity or expression or whatever, you know? Like English there is, and it's kind of janky depending on what, you know, where you land on that, but it just doesn't exist in the language. Like, that must be super hard. Fuck. That has to suck. Every time I go somewhere and someone calls me from behind, they go, ma'am. Oh, do you have long hair or something like that? I don't know if you had long hair. Makes sense. My fucking beard, they go like, oh, sorry, sir. <laughs> yeah, I used to have long hair, so I know that. Here it goes down to your ass. Cool. Or makes you happy, right? You wipe with them probably, uh, uh... Yeah, please don't try it. Some things are best not known, I guess. It would be the... Way to put it. Maybe that's just my own ignorant self saying that, but that is my take on it. Well, if someday I do that, you know, I'll know who to blame. <laughs> oh my. Not my fault, Garros. You want to wipe your ass with your hair? Go ahead. I would say I wouldn't recommend it. That's all I want to say. Probably not in the best interest of your health. That's all I'll say on that subject. Yeah, I can. I used to have my hair down to my shoulder blades many lifetimes ago uh, when I was working in game dip because I hadn't had the time to get ever get a haircut.
like your hair if you're already not taking care of it properly so you'll pass on that fair enough the only thing i'd say is negative about having long hair uh, at least from my experience is like the shampoo cost like i know i buzz my head regularly so it's like super short um and i can take a bottle of shampoo and make it last a year when i had long hair it lasts a month like just the just the hit to your budget with that is substantial you know Yeah, the same bottle of shampoo will last me a year. Like a, it's a big bottle, but I use so little of it now. Whenever I shower, it just doesn't last that long. It's nice. Runs out every two, three weeks. I know. I was there. Um, essentially, like mine lasted four weeks because my hair was shorter than yours. But yeah, you go through it really quickly, and. Cost wise, it adds up. Like, you spend more money than you realize every, you know, in your grocery shopping on shampoo. And, like, not even like fancy shampoo, just basic shampoo. When you're going through that much of it that quickly, it adds up. And I didn't appreciate that until I actually had my hair short. clean my hair ever again i i know how you got that lesson off at caros um soft is not the word i would use of course it's your hair you do what you want but again i would not use the word solved for that situation Uh, deferred, avoided, ignored. Those are words I would use. Solved is not one of them. Sorry. To be fair, every summer I'm like, why do I still have long hair? Yeah. It's. It's a chore to deal with sometimes, for sure. Like, I, I, I liked having long hair. I like not having to deal with long hair now. Um, I was lucky enough to experience both. Also, my hair is so thin now on top that it wouldn't even look great. So, there's also that. Getting older, you get, you know, uh, what's it called? Male pattern boldness. Got my hair tomorrow, I'll probably cut my balls. I don't know about that. I think she'd be upset for a wee bit, but I don't think she'll go that far. I should probably chew you out. Uh, that that I, I definitely agree with. She'd be pretty upset, I'm sure. But 
you know you gotta do what you gotta do Yeah, I don't I don't think she'd fly to France just to give you a, an impromptu neutering. Like really? That's the first thing she would do? I don't believe it. Oh, should do something else with my boss, that's for sure. Ugh, that's just... That sounds uncomfortable. I'll say that much. Welcome my, myself in her chat. <laughs> Fair enough. She'll probably be confused in the morning, like, why is there all these random box for Karos? Now you need methane, eh? Am I burning too much? I am probably burning too much. These are empty, right? Yeah. Let's uh, get rid of some of these. Not like we need the power, really. There we go. That's working better now. Much, much better. Cool, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Tight, 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 tight. Huh. Well, we finally stabilized the colony too after draining so much of the neural processors. Water's pretty full, that's pretty good. Um, okay, power, you need power. Fine, power. Okay, so that's working now. Uh, what do we want to do? Some of these. And then we want to get some water pipes up in here. That should help out this business here. And these are just sitting at idle, so hopefully that should be enough to supplement this, because I think we're good in iron too. Speaking of which, can we just do a little thing like meow, 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 and go over to here and there we go.
We're making all this steel, we're just not putting it anywhere, so maybe this will help. Now the question does remain when we're getting enough water into here, so we'll find that out soon enough. These are not connected? Why are these not connected? There we go. I thought I connected those. My bad. Oh boy. Ugh. I guess that didn't work the way I wanted. Oh well, whatever. Doesn't matter. That's working well enough. Okay, these are starting to come along, kinda. I wonder if I can put some of those over here too. Obviously, I need more urine, iridium stuff coming in for that, but fuck it. Like, some of these drills are just sitting idle. I feel like we should try and. Pretty tall. Uh, get more production of those up. Um. Oh, Karos, uh, you'd be happy to know that I have this over here. You're not connected. Damn it. Oh, that was super uneventful. It was working earlier. I had to refresh it. There we go. Yeah, I didn't refresh it. I have set up a web deck, which is basically a web based stream deck kind of app the streamer bot you mentioned bonking so that's now available uh they also have it triggered off the bonk man too so you can bonk people as everything should be what are we doing on this 
Making progress. How's our spaceship doing? About a, quarter, a little over a quarter of the way. Actually starting to get a little hungry. I haven't had like a proper breakfast yet. I just had an energy drink and like a boost shake. So I probably should go find someone to raid. This is like a really impromptu stream, anyways. So let me switch scenes and go find someone to raid. Uh, thank you all for hanging out and chatting and just generally trying to have a chill time on this weird Monday. Apologies again for all the crashes. I want to try and play around with OBS. See, so I'm gonna figure out what that's all about. See who, who we can raid. That's uh, uh, you know what? we can raid Christy. We haven't raided her before, and she's super nice. She's doing some illustrations, some art streams. I'm um, trying out Procreate, I think. So, should be good to go hang out with her. She's super awesome. Um, uh, hope you have a good, happy Juneteenth. Uh, a happy Monday. Uh, good day in general. Grab your raid messages. Uh, first one for subs, second one for non subs. Um, but at the end of the day, I hope you have a, a good night. And good luck. Lurking in the background, but not actually chatting. Because if I start chatting and then can't hear the streamer, like.